Hi. I want to say something about videos of people high on mushrooms and things. Uh, I just watched a bunch of videos of people high on mushrooms and acid and things on YouTube. Now, uh, quite frankly, I found them for the most part boring. Now, why would that be? You know, I mean, you take you take a much you take hallucinogens, you find them a very interesting, exciting experience. So why would watching them be boring? Indeed, what is boredom? Well, a lot of the videos were something like this. They were like. Either, either it was somebody like, uh, like, talking to their friends, like, oh my, oh my god, man, oh my god, man, I, I don't know, in general, they're like, sort of like, either like this, or, like, oh my god, man, this is so fucked up, man, this is so fucked up, dude, dude. And I hate, I hate that whole style of talking. I think it's boring and totally, like, unintelligent and stupid. Hey, man, man, I'm, man, I'm so fucked up. Man, I'm so fucked up. A lot of it was like that, and then, and then people, like, sometimes just in front of the computer, like, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> In one case, it was interesting because this guy started saying, man, he was like standing up and he's like, Man, I just realized man, you're not going to see me if I stand up, but man, I just realized it's like you're filming me, but the film isn't, isn't, uh, it isn't real. It is. It's. It's like an electronic medium, but and and you got to get to the real medium. And at every point, we have a choice between going in, out into space and being together, or going backwards, going forward, or going backwards. And if I kill somebody, the whole thing stops. If I kill your camera, the whole thing stops. But if I'm just here and I go forward, then we're together and it's okay, and I don't kill anybody and stuff. It was interesting. It was interesting. You know. So. uh it's more interesting when people express themselves, you know. Uh, this gets to a core question. Indeed, what is boredom? And why are certain things boring? Obviously, the people having those mushroom experiences, they weren't particularly bored. Uh, I think the examination of boredom is in order here. Because... Uh, Altered states of consciousness are not boring, really. You know. So these and and, and the, the camera guy and that one going where the guy was standing up was like, "Dude, don't attack my camera, dude!" You know, he's saying all that kind of stuff, and that's what made it boring. You know, the fact that he wasn't really intelligent enough to even respond to this what this guy was saying. So, what I'm saying, folks, is let's not dumb down, okay? Just because we're taking hallucinogens, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm so fucked up, I'm so wasted, and all that crap. No. Terrence McKenna used to, and he's the psychedelic guru, he used to say he hated that whole idea of recreational drugs. And he said, it just becomes flatter and flatter until it's a buzz, man. You know, even he was objecting to that. He hated the term recreational drugs. And then he said something like, you've got to have some sort of uh, idea of what you're after to triangulate the experience. Uh, and, and I think that's a good interesting idea, triangulate. You've got yourself, the drug, and then you've got something triangulating it. Uh, that gives a third angle, you know. Uh, that's like two points, distance between two points is a straight line, blah. You have a third point, you have a triangle, you have a whole new thing. Uh, something like that. 
I mean, you have, or you could think of it as three dimensions, point, line, uh, you know, point, line, cube. But, uh, yeah, okay, I think I'll just wrap it up there. But uh, boredom is just, it, it, what is boredom? It isn't. Like bored, like life isn't boring. It's not supposed to be boring. Okay. And when it's not boring is when it's moving. When you're moving, you know. And the reason those things are boring is because people were sitting there, like, <laughs> not doing much. Now maybe they were moving inside their mind, but you weren't allowed into that. And so when they were communicating, nothing was. They weren't communicating. And when you communicate. It appears to move because you can see what's going on inside somebody else's mind and your minds are going and you're traveling somewhere. I think that's a very important point. In fact, the whole, whole idea of trip implies traveling somewhere. Now, don't let that, don't let that uh, become delusional in thinking that traveling through space is a big goal because, but it is important to be traveling somewhere even though all roads lead, all paths lead nowhere, as Don, Don Juan says in Carlos Castaneda. Uh, nevertheless, traveling, it's a paradox. And I'll get to that in my next video. They lead somewhere, but they lead nowhere. You are already there, but you ha are have to be traveling anyway. All right. See you later. So you are going somewhere, but you're not going somewhere. You're already there, but you have a long way to go. Traveling, it's the paradox. It's the paradox, which I really do want to talk about in the next thing, because I think that all realized thought has a paradoxical quality. All right. Talk to you later. Talk to you in my next video, actually, about that particular thing. Rawr.